All right, guys, welcome back to the Road to Super Sonic Legends series. We're on episode number six for today. And in the last episode, we reached Champ 1. So we're just on the cusp of Champ 1 here, Division 1. Pretty good series so far. Um, I think we're going to probably run into a problem uh, later in the series where we have a reset where we have to do 10 placements again because the season is coming to a close soon. Uh, the rewards for the next season have been announced, or this season, sorry, at the end of the season, we'll be getting the wheel rewards. Let me know what you guys think of these. I mean, I don't really like the icons personally on them. They could look pretty clean if they don't have those, but that's my opinion. Let me know in the comments. But speaking of comments, we have a comment of the day. We got Cinder uh, with, the, with the suggestion of Theodore Rizzovelt. That's a mouthful. Uh, let's make this thing real quick. All right, I got the man himself, Theodore, right here, and I've got Rizzo. Uh, this is gonna be a tough one because he's got like a bifocals that have like a little chain or like a little uh, string attached to him. So we're gonna have to incorporate the glasses somehow on Rizzo here and uh, get him mixed in, in here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna just work with uh, what I usually do, which is cutting out Rizzo and then uh, starting from there and see what we come up with. All right, we got Rizzo here. I'm just gonna immediately erase the bottom half of him because I don't need all this. Oh boy. Okay, so I don't know because this is a bit of a draw. I think this is a drawing or like a painting. So I might need to do some effects on Rizzo here to like match the look. This is so dumb. All right, new plan. Uh, I'm gonna try and use this head uh, and see if this works. I could not get uh, get an image in my head on how this would work. So instead, <laughs> we're gonna do this. I need to figure out how to get rid of the colors though. There's a bit of blue and red in his hair. I mean, the thing with this is, is that this is just straight up Rizzo with a suit on. <laughs> so, okay. So it's not quite a real mustache. <laughs> okay. I'm going to make this thing a little thicker. It's a little too thin. I'm, tr I'm trying to match the string down there, though. I could paint my own, which I'm probably going to. I'm going to be honest with you. This is sending me on like a spiritual journey. I don't know what is happening with this one, but it's taking me a lot longer than I would have expected. <laughs> what? What is this? I mean, that's that's actually pretty good. I'm kind of happy with this. So there we have it. That's Theodore Rizzovelt. <laughs> One of the more complicated ones, but I really enjoyed making that. So let's get right into the episode. Hope you guys are enjoying so far. Like I've said before, this is all in a playlist if you'd like to watch all the previous episodes in a row. And now some of the games, see how champ one is. All right, you got game number one. We got Kodos on our team against Joe and uh, TRC Syrup. So let's see how it goes, or Syrup, however you say it. Um, we've got somebody in net here. See if my team wants to turn on it. We'll say he's not going. I'm going to go forward off the backboard and then try to go for a bump on this guy. I'm way behind my teammate. So go up the wall. Good pass middle. I'll go for a pop. I could, could have probably shot that. It's a really good pass uh, in midfield. I like that he uh, he's already looking for a, a play in mid. I'm going to wait in mid here see what happens. It's a good try. Not a good pass to go for. If the ball's too close like that. Also, I don't want to go all the way back because um, if I go all the way back, I'm going to relinquish possession. We see Syrup, his last man here. I'm going to pass this middle. It's across from my teammate. And a really good finish. So yeah, that's, that's a position where like once the last man's kind of panicking in the corner and there's space uh, to use. Look how much space on the field there is and, my, and the opponent is facing backwards. And they try to get a read on the ball, but there's still so many options there. And the way that I'm flipping out towards uh, the, the ball there or like back into mid is that I'm able to recover faster because I'm already flipping back towards the direction of defense. So it, it's kind of like a two for two. I'm last man here, but he's actually sideways. I want to put, put this ball up the wall because... Um, it'll put me in a bad position and I see right there that they're getting ready to uh, pick up some pace in the midfield um, But yeah, the reason why I don't want to go there is because uh, as last man there if I feed the ball at the wall They could wait for it See so passes it to me really good finish um, They kind of just panicked in the corner. That wasn't really anything I was doing I was just waiting on the left side a lot of the times as you go up in the ranks You're gonna notice like players are jumping up uh, Earlier for the ball and if you don't beat them, you're just gonna be overcommitted. I could beat them to this ball, too that's a really good uh, play in mid, but really good demo for my teammate to go for the, the demo on the guy that was waiting in midfield. You can see my t the the uh, the opponent that went for a play off the backboard. Um, they they only it's only dangerous if the player in middle can can go for it. Uh, but since the guy my teammate actually demoed him, uh, it was it worked out. So this is off the backboard. It, um, at, at champ level, you're gonna start to have to keep the ball close. Um, off the backboard, or else you're gonna have opportunities where they can score, uh, you know, an aerial for the top of the net. Let's we'll see what they do here. I'm gonna get in the way of the pinch. As you can see, he was trying to pinch it down uh, towards the the ball. So I don't want to go all the way back and loop back. A big mistake that I've seen from champ level players is they 
they tend to uh like give too much space like look at joe all the way like boosting all the way back and then now he's not able to support his teammate and now he's gonna get beat there and it really could have been a goal this guy could go as last man but he's actually backing off this one's gonna go for the touch take the boost so this is gonna bounce awkwardly off the wall and he might still stay with this now that he's backwards i can go and i probably could have went a little bit earlier than that than i did right there but it still should be okay now, as you can see i'm not doing anything that will overcommit me uh, or at least not a lot of things. I sometimes do, but it's going to be awkward here. I'm showing my teammate moving up. Good try. He's a little bit slow to react to that. But as you can see, I lead the ball. We talked about this in the earlier episodes as well. Flipping the ball um, towards a position where you can follow it up. This might be a good shot. Good fake. Um, the way that I flipped over to the, uh, block that ball right here was knowing the fact that he was going to go for the clear. Like that's I don't feel like in champ level it's not is that's definitely something that you guys can do is jump off the wall and if you can to like just take more time to practice the biggest thing that I get all the time is at, is questions like asking how to do certain things in champ and a lot of the time it's just like hours this game is grueling as far as like the grind goes it is the most grindy game in the world I think anyway I've played CSGO I've played League of Legends both of those games nowhere close to the skill uh, differential that that Rockley has all right, so he's going to try and go for this again. If he tries to go, I can bump it off of him here. My teammate can go for it. Really good follow-up. This guy's turning early. It's totally fine. Now, I should clear this across like this. Um, but if you can't... Like, that's one of those positions where I probably shouldn't have been ready for that at champ. I'm not really sure. That's a good pop. I'm just going to try and get in the way. Good block. Now, I can see my team has free space. What do I do? I position wide. See if he can pass it across to me. Now, it's too dangerous because there's someone in net. And now, I'm already ready for this next position instead of just overcommitting. And we're up three goals, too, with 20 seconds. Don't need to do anything crazy. They once again cleared it away. My teammate can go up on the wall and get, catch the ball. You know, I'm not, not getting a great touch. I'm going to fake this once again. It's one of those situations where, like, I could have probably went. Uh, this could be a good finish from them. Nice play. Um, I could have probably went if I went a little faster, but I decided to fake it. And that's maybe something that you might not have thought to go for or, like, to, to, to cancel uh, going for. But as you can see, my touch off the wall was not great because they ended up getting, like, a pinch across. So big mistake by me, but... You know, with not enough time for uh, for them to finish off any more goals here to equalize. But either way, pretty good first game. I feel like I didn't do too much out of the ordinary there, but a um, few positional things that I'm thinking about way ahead of this, uh, way ahead of time. And like thinking fast instead of working or trying to move fast is always better. And you'll find that if you just position uh, accordingly for things that might happen, you might start to be ready for certain plays that can develop a lot faster so like being ahead of the game on what's possible is really going to help you and i've said this so many times but i feel like i need to stop repeating myself like a broken record but it's really like positional things are going to are going to help you way faster than mechanical things will now looking back uh, at all of the ranked videos that i've recorded or things that i've talked about a lot of it is really out of touch with like what the average player is going to experience so it's really good to have things like this level to refer to as far as like what's possible, what you should go for, what scenarios are going to show up because like pros and everybody will talk about um, like things that are, are possible. This is a good shot to go for. If he doesn't jump, he does jump though. So now I can go behind my teammate. He should pop up for this. It's a good try. It's a little bit awkward. I can jump up for this and go for the, the touch. Now he's backing off. So I'm actually going to go up on this and boom it off the wall. He ends up getting a good clear though. My teammate goes for it. This is off the backboard to see if they read it. They do read it. Once again, I'm just like, we're just posturing. We're just getting in the way, getting uh, putting ourselves in a good position uh, to deal with every opportunity. Oh, good try. Teammate got a little scared being last man there, but there wasn't really a big uh, worry. I think this guy's going to miss. Yeah, they both missed. Good shot opportunity off the post, and there we go. So all I had to do is just wait there. I could have been the one to go for that, but once again, my teammate might go, and I knew that, seeing that I was turned around like that, so... Really good choice for him to go for that, and then I just follow it up. So people are flipping now. I still am not. I should probably start flipping again. And I've seen a lot of people argue in the chat about, like, or not the chat, the comments uh, about, like, what their level is like in NA and EU and stuff like that. I th really think there's a big discrepancy between, like, what it feels like to play the game versus what it actually is to be playing the game uh, from an outside perspective. Um, because it always you always think you're playing better than you are when you are playing and that's why like even when I look back at some of my my like gameplay 
Uh, they aren't playing anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Merc's kind of scored a crazy goal. He's also lagging. Oh, no. Um, but, yeah, it's a big difference between, like, when you're actually the person experiencing the gameplay versus... Oh, and he left. He lost connection. Oh, that sucks. He didn't actually, like, rage quit. He just... Unless he unplugged his Ethernet cable. We can wait here. Oh, never mind. Drops in the bucket. Is that, like, make them forfeit? Super victorious. I doubt that's what the achievements are actually for, but either way, we ranked up again. We're moving up so fast here. I'm pretty sure my MMR is, like, climbing really fast because of the wins in, in order, but uh, either way, it's been, you know, quite the climb pretty fast. We'll see what happens in the next one. This might be a faster series than I expected, and honestly, I feel like we're skipping through a lot of the gameplay as far as, like, you know, Champ, with Champ 2. We just basically skipped way past. Um, got to Champ 3 pretty fast there. Um, so, I just feel like we're maybe not going to get as much out of uh, the series edu educational-wise as we could. I think my teammate goes for this. i wait here for the clear. So he clears it. Now I have space to catch this. We're getting to a faster player here, so I'm just going to try and stay close. And once again, uh, the, ama the amount of control you have is going to determine what you can do with this ball. As you can see, they're both coming out for this. I'm going to go around him when he's close. Let's see what my teammate wants to do here. Good block. I can wait for this if I want to. They're, they're, look how much space I have if I just back off the ball. Let's see if my team wants to position. There we go. Ooh, it's a little high. So I'm just going to wait. Once again, wait here. There's no need to go for anything. Now they've given me given us the ball for free just because I backed off. So if I committed earlier, uh, I could go for this. It's a little dangerous, but definitely go for it. And the way that I uh, go towards the ball there, um, I am oh, I can't go for that. He goes for this. Um, the way that he's going for the ball is just going to force it into their corner. It's a good shot. Should my teammate to clear it? Good save. A boost steal. Good try. I can't quite go for this. They do miss, though. I can stay close here. I am last man. So you can see I don't really want to force a goal because if I try to force the goal there, I'm going to get scored on. Same with here. I got to jump out for this, though, because he's up for it. A little scary. Now I'm gonna force it in really quickly here because he's not he's taking too much time in the corner when I'm close like that. Alright, that's fine. He's gonna force over my teammate. Teammate didn't go though. Now I gotta wa watch out for the goal. I'm gonna jump over the guy trying to demo me. You can see everyone's just barreling in. Everyone in champ does this. They are all barreling in very, very quickly. They bumped each other here. Um don't be that player who just barrels into every challenge, every every touch. You're not gonna if you're just gonna do the the thing that's the easiest to do. People are going to expect it. Like Barreling into every play is going to get you scored on him once in a while because people just 50-50 it in a weird way that doesn't work in your favor. Let's see if he can go for a shot. Good pop. It's over two. Good save from SpongeBob. Okay, cleared it away. I can put this to the corner and then follow it up in the in the side here. He said just block him by jumping off the wall slightly. If I don't blo jump off the wall, um, what's going to happen is I'm going to be uh, stuck in a situation where... Uh, he's going to 50-50 it around me out to middle. And we've seen that be a problem in the past. I can go for this pretty early here and make sure I don't clear it behind me. That way it stays in front of the, the play. And turn on this pretty early as well. All right, so it's over my head. Good try. Get some space. Good boom. Keeps it close to his car. Good shot as well. Let's see if uh, Slinky Galaxy can go for this. Ends up missing. So you can see, even in champ, still aerials that are a struggle for some players. Now I'm going to go for 50-50 again. Hopefully my teammate can get there. They end up missing. Oh, he backs off. So I'm going to go for this again uh, because my teammate backed off. See if Quinter's going to get in there. Good try. Now I'm going to cut this immediately because if I don't, they're going to have a free uh, 1v2. They end up missing too. I'm going to try and pop this across. See what my teammate wants to do. I'm going to wait behind him. Good bump. Really, really smart there. Because uh, if he doesn't get the bump there, then the guy can still follow it up. This guy, this SpongeBob guy seems pretty good. Pop it up and get a bump. I'm going to back off here. The teammate's a little panicky in, net, in the corner there. What he can do is wait for it to bounce and then go for it. He needs to make sure he doesn't get caught off guard by the... Oh! I thought he owned gold. Uh, caught off guard by the corner bounces. I'll pop this up. And see if my teammate can follow it up. It's um, it's a little dangerous because both of them are challenging, but they end up missing and they're panicking. 
I'm going to wait up here. He's going to go for a fast hit. So I'm just going to go behind him. It should be my teammate to turn on this. Didn't need to jump for that. As you can see, there's so much space because the other guy was back. But this could work. A little dangerous. Once again, I, there's a chance that doesn't go well for me. So I'm just going to wait. Oh, off the floor, though. Definitely, definitely a chance for them. I'll cheat up here a little bit. I got some space. I can take this over to the side if I want. Let's see what happens. The guy was scared that I was going to go up the wall. So, yeah, that's why I, I wanted to fake that I was going for, like, a, a wall play. Good 50. Now that's, see, this is what happens when I go for a barrel challenge. I'm stuck on the, on our, our their side. But my teammate got a good clear. But it might not have worked out that way. I can chip this off the wall really hard and then back out if you want. If you don't feel comfortable with the play, he's going to go for a touch here. I see. I'm looking at Slinky here, not Spongebob. Because once I see Spongebob go past the ball, there's a good chance. Oh, he's not going. Oh, oh, I was close. Um, I'm looking at the player behind where, where he's going to follow up for the shot. Okay, they're off corner. Maybe a shot. Good try. A pinch here. It's going to bounce out mid awkward. Go for a 50. Now I'm behind. Spongebob with an early read. I can go for this. He might... Yeah, he doesn't trust me. That's okay, though. Almost not okay. I mean, he definitely should have had the awareness for me... Uh, for uh, for him to know that I'm there. But this could be a good shot and good finish. So, really, that, that game could have gone horribly with the situation. And I probably should have backed off that ball knowing that he has no idea where I am. I mean, that's such a hindsight is 2020 kind of thing. Because, really, I was in the right position. He should just look behind him to see where his teammate is. Uh, but unfortunately, he bumped me off the wall when I was catching it uh, safely. It'll happen. Like I said, it sometimes just goes that way. We might have divisioned up again. We didn't. Okay, so we're in champ one, division three so far. Uh, we got a quick second game. Is this, this was the third game already? I think so. We'll do one more because that one game ended so fast. Oh my god, we got Shavaxi. If you guys don't know who Shavaxi is, he was in one of my videos where he had the uh, the guy with the heat seeker challenge. Uh, it's so funny. I might have to tell him. I think he might know because he's watched some of my videos. I'm going to go for this and try to get in the way. And wait behind see what Shavaxi does. Oh. A good touch. All right, good touch on the wall too. They end up missing. I could go for this because it's... Uh, they're not quite uh, ready for the miss. That was definitely a backboard that should be defended because it's a bouncer, like Squawk or Soldier Kid. I don't know how to say his name. Uh, he went forward instead of up the backboard where the bounce was going to. A lot of okay, a lot of the road to SSL. The issue with it is like obviously I have the control of an SSL and like touches like this are not always going to be the case for a player who's lower, but. Um, the thing is, is that these are the kind of things that just will come naturally as you play more. And there's there's nothing of it like, the, like this game as far as like the hours needed to just learn something or have the control. Like I have 15,000 hours in the game. Most players in champ level have a couple thousand or close to a thousand. Some players are more naturally talented, but that's a good try on the shot. Um, but it really, you can't compare your hours and your rank to other people. People all level up or rank up at different rates and rank isn't everything okay, he's missing that so i know that pretty dangerous for me to go for this as last man though they could shoot this they miss though pop it up i'm gonna go for okay I, there's definitely open because i'm not sure why they left the net like that but i uh, popped it off to the side big commit from shavaxi means i'm gonna be alone for a second we'll see what they do Shavaxi's so trying to get back Good try. I'm reading the play until they let go of the ball in a position where I can go for it. Once again, here. Uh, I'm pretty sure the other player was, yeah, he was on our side coming behind. Just always have awareness of where all players on the field are. Like, I think Shavaxi knew I could maybe go for that. I kind of popped that up for him just in case he wanted to go for it, but he didn't quite go. That's their last man, so I know that. So I'm waiting for him to make a touch to me and get a free clear down the field. Just getting an idea of what's possible. This is a little dangerous. They're both off the wall, so I'm just going to wait for this. I don't really want to fully commit. I can catch this ball and make sure it stays safe on the side. Just like if you don't feel comfortable looking at the ball the way that I did, you can use the uh, car cam like this and watch for the uh, ball indicator on the ground and just catch it. 
I'm gonna keep this close and see what happens. I'm gonna go for a 50. That was a bit of a mistake on my end because I actually let let that player get the 100 boost. I could have played that in a different way that makes sure that I get the ball and the boost in the corner. He's gonna miss that. Shavaxi so could have caught that for a dribble, but instead just booms it away. And I think this is the biggest thing like that I've noticed for uh, the ranks as we go up. And this happened last the last two v two series I did like over, over like two years ago. It started almost own gold there. I was close. Um, is the fact that people just go into autopilot mode and and sort of just boom the ball all the time when they have so much space in the field. Like I can go for a demo here, sort of disrupt them. He says, "Wow!" But he kind of backflipped in a spot where he. This is a pretty good play here too, by the way. But I shouldn't really go for that. Um, he kind of backflipped in a bad spot. Oof. A good try from Shavaxi could be an open net for them. Good finish. Yeah, so Shavaxi bumped me uh, when I was on my way over to the ball. I ended up getting the save anyway, but then Shavaxi really, like, there was no threat of him making a really fast shot there um, because he's beside the ball. The ball. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> Uh, there was no threat because he was beside the ball. There's no way to get direct, like, difficult to save power on the ball. Um, so you could have just waited. He really needs to go for this. Good save. Nice catch. I like that. Good control. Good try. This is pretty scary because both of them are ready for this. And good finish. So yeah, a bit of a panic on, on Shavaxi again there. When he we didn't he didn't need to get rid of the ball right there. He could have sat behind it, but it's just trying to do too much. Um, where it's not needed. Um, so unfortunately, we get scored on again. But we do have a lot of time here. And we can maybe make a play. Uh, after a 50-50 here, I'll take kick off. Good. Go for the boost here. Go for a shot, maybe. Good save. It's a good save. That's probably pretty difficult to save. Uh, the fact that the one guy faked it. But should work out for us. And keep this close. Passes across to Shivaxi. See if he can pass it back to me. Nice pass. That's a really good play. So the, I'm using all the space to my advantage. Like you don't see players. I haven't seen any player in this lobby or in any lobby so far utilize the space in a way that uh, Shivaxi just did. The fact that there was so much time on the ball. He finally found the space to come around the player once they pushed in and made an aggressive uh, push on the defense. So... Really good use of the space there. Really good boom down the field as well. Good save. This ball's still in a controllable position for the opponent. And now I'm going to go for the, the challenge once I see that he loses the ball a little bit. I'll talk more about my philosophy as far as like when to go for Rocket League in another episode. But um, the whole like red light, green light that I talked about in a previous um, season of uh, Road to SSL. Um, it's definitely really, really key for that, you know, hesitation kind of thing. I got to wait for a shot here. A little bit close. I could follow this up, but they could be there. They're not there, though, so I could go back. He's going to pass it back. He missed the boost, though. I got space here. I'm going to stay with it. Big flick. And a finish, too. They actually didn't go for it. I was just popping that up for them to defend, but I think it was a little bit too high of a flick. I waited here off the touch and popped it over one, but Jace... Uh, just Jay Prod was a little bit uh, awkward in net. Probably too good of a flick for this rank. Um, the way that I controlled that. Uh, yo, Shivaxi. What's up, man? Guess who? I'm calling on Discord. Bruh. 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 <laughs> Wait, are you? Was that you? Yes. What? No, you're good. Uh, I, I only roasted you at like... Oh, I'll wait for a second. I, yeah, I got to get headphones. I was not expecting to play with Leth in a champ game at uh, what time is this? Like almost one in the morning here. Eh, it's twelve thirty. It's twelve thirty. <laughs> you don't got to you don't got to you don't got to out me like that, man. Hold on. Wait, oh, you were roasting me. What is no, this? I was joking. I said I was roast. <laughs> I was roasting you the whole game, but no, I wasn't. You actually played really well. Uh, that few, was good. Yeah. Yeah. A few. A, was... You can watch it back. I mean, uh, it, it'll be out in two days, but you know, this is a video. Oh, yeah. This is my road to SSL. Like, this is my like my, my little educational series, you know?
Oh my god, I just saved that replay because I was saving I I actually because I've been doing like some of the uh training stuff with uh Gubberry, right? So yeah. I'm saving I'm saving good replays and stuff and I was like, holy shit, that was like some really good we had some good team play there. So yeah, it was, was good, yeah. I was, using I was the space. saving that replay. <laughs> I, I definitely fed up in the beginning and No no no, you were good. I, there was that bump that was crazy. I made the save anyway. I probably shouldn't have made that save at champ level, but I I went for it anyway and then I bopped myself into the post. But it yeah, was, no. I I did not. I don't know if this is a good or bad thing, but I didn't realize like it was. Uh, okay, let me just. Say, no, 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 no. Say like it. Say it. With, it, yeah. didn't, it didn't seem like I was playing with an SSL. It good. Like somebody who was more on my level. Good. So good. That, that's what I'm trying to do, and I'm glad that you said that because a lot of people were like, "No, this isn't champ. This isn't diamond." I'm like, "No, this right. is this is your rank. <laughs> I'm, right. I'm playing like this rank, and I'm sorry if that comes across as you know." <laughs> Well, no, I think I'm trying my best to fit in with everybody and make the games like fair. Like I've lost some games in the series. I'm trying to just play yeah. it and and make sure that the the opponents and teammates are are playing the game. I didn't even if I didn't realize your name is R L Cartographer, <laughs> which is so funny because I made R L Craft and there's cartographers yeah. in Minecraft. Well, yeah, it's like a play on play on words. You know, map makers. I didn't even like. I didn't even think about it. I'm like, wait, who the hell is this? Yeah, yeah. So, that, that was good. <laughs> GG's, man. That was fun. No, that was a sick game, dude.